Insomnia is a common sleep disorder that can make it hard to fall asleep, hard to stay asleep, or cause you to wake up too early and not be able to get back to sleep. You may still feel tired when you wake up. Insomnia can sap not only your energy level and mood, but also your health, work performance and quality of life. Stay with us until the sixth tip, which will make all the difference. Insomnia may be the primary problem, or it may be associated with other medical conditions or medications. You don't have to put up with sleepless nights. Simple changes in your daily habits can often help. Check if you have insomnia. You have insomnia if you regularly find it hard to go to sleep, wake up several times during the night. Lie awake at night, wake up early and cannot go back to sleep, still feel tired after waking up, find it hard to nap during the day even though you're tired, feel tired and irritable during the day, find it difficult to concentrate during the day because you're tired. If you have insomnia for a short time, less than three months, it's called short-term insomnia. Insomnia that lasts three months or longer is called long-term insomnia. How much sleep you need? Everyone needs different amounts of sleep. On average, adults need seven to nine hours. Children need nine to 13 hours. Toddlers and babies need 12 to 17 hours. You probably do not get enough sleep if you're constantly tired during the day. Exercise. Getting in some daily physical activity is one of the best remedies for insomnia. Exercise is good for your overall health, but research also shows that it helps to improve your quality of sleep. As exercise releases endorphins that make you feel awake and energized, try to get in a workout earlier in the day. You should avoid exercising within two hours of bedtime. Sleep hygiene. Practicing good sleep hygiene and sleep habits can help you overcome insomnia. This means that you should try to stick to a regular sleep schedule every day. Set a regular bedtime and a regular time to wake up so that your body gets into the habit of sleeping during those hours. You should also avoid napping throughout the day. This way you will be more tired when it comes to your nightly bedtime. Drink up. No, not alcohol, which can interfere with sleep. Gamaldo recommends warm milk, chamomile tea, and tart cherry juice for patients with sleep trouble. Chamomile tea can also be helpful. It's believed to have flavonoids that may interact with benzodiazepine receptors in the brain that are also involved with the sleep-wake transition, she says. Plus, chamomile tea doesn't have caffeine, unlike green tea or Earl Grey. Finally, tart cherry juice might support melatonin production and support a healthy sleep cycle. Light regulation. When your room is dark, it's easier to fall asleep and stay asleep. Use thick curtains or blinds to block out light that may wake you up, or try sleeping with a sleep mask. This goes for artificial light, too. Avoid watching TV or using your phone or tablet before going to bed. Full-spectrum light from electronic gadgets has a stimulating effect, making it harder to sleep. Instead, try something relaxing, like reading, listening to music, or taking a bath, before bed. If you wake up in the middle of the night to use the washroom, don't turn on the light. Instead, use a flashlight to help guide you to the bathroom. The overhead light of the bathroom can make you take longer to fall back asleep. Relaxation. Try to get your most demanding tasks or challenges finished earlier in the day and not within a couple of hours of bedtime. Get your bedroom comfortable and ready for relaxation by dimming the lights, lowering the temperature if possible, and lowering the noise. Items like earplugs and a white noise machine may help. Hide the clocks in your room so that you're not tempted to look at them at night and get anxious about the time. The more you worry about sleep, the more difficult it can be to fall asleep and overcome insomnia. Use melatonin supplements. Melatonin is a hormone that is naturally released in the brain four hours before we feel a sense of sleepiness, Gamaldo says. It's triggered by the body's response to reduced light exposure, which should naturally happen at night. These days, though, lights abound after it's dark outside, whether it's from your phone, laptop, or TV. This exposure to unnatural light prevents melatonin release, which can make it hard to fall asleep. Luckily, melatonin is available in pill form at your local pharmacy as an over-the-counter supplement. Just make sure that you consistently buy the same brand. Because melatonin supplements are unregulated by the FDA, the per pill dosages and ingredients may differ from manufacturer to manufacturer. Stick with one brand and don't buy it online from an unknown source, Gamaldo cautions. Thanks for watching us this far. We are coming to the end.
but we have other great videos. We've been talking about the benefits of oregano tea, the three worst foods in the world, the benefits of the egg diet, the benefits of lemon water, and much more.